here. Um, so it is roughly mailbag time. We typically start mailbag at 10 o'clock. It is 9.56. So in theory, I have four minutes. And the uh, fact is, I'm a lot closer to hitting that mark than I thought, but we're definitely going to miss it. Just maybe, you know, missed it by that much uh, style. Uh, so we'll see um, how quickly I can get all this put together. And we'll start mailbag as soon as I have. In the meantime, I think we can make things potentially entertaining by shaking these kittens up a little and opening the doors. They look a little uh, worn out, though. I guess they were probably partying all morning, and now they're ready for a nap. Boy, I feel you, kids. All right, so uh, give me a couple extra, extra minutes on top of the usual time for mailbag, and, uh, and we'll get rolling just as fast as we can. But if you can't spare the time or uh, you know the brain power, also you can always catch it later on the archive. I'll get it uploaded sooner uh, rather than later this time. open this door too and which cameras do we have on? I want to move this camera over to point at the living room and I guess I should see whether we can whether I'm gonna to have to get a longer cable before mail bag. I mean I know I can get it to point this way but is it gonna be good enough? Good enough is basically what we aim for all the time here. That's our goal. Good enough. All right yeah, I guess that is good enough too. All right we'll leave it. There's still a little more mail for me to bring in and uh, a couple other things for me to take care of before we can start, like uh, I gotta get some coffee, more coffee, I guess, and uh, yeah, et cetera. So it'll still be a few minutes.
feel like I'd be better off uh, just going all the way up the long way around through the door. Maybe I'll do that next time. Okay, I still got more to bring in. Still more. Yes, yeah, still more. Let's see if those kittens are gonna get involved. I see them looking. Hi kids, I see you watching me. What am I doing out here? What am I doing out here? You're better out here. Come on. I'll put this stuff right in front. We'll just get closer to the camera. I mean, why shouldn't we do that, right? So this. Okay, now I'm going to shut up. Good. Uh, still five. That is all the mailbag. It's a lot of stuff, but we're going to try to get through it. And uh, because it's a lot of stuff we're going to try to get through, I'm going to try to get back here and get started with you uh, as fast as I can. But you still are going to have to give me at least another five to ten minutes uh, while I get some uh, coffee at least. Is there anything else I need? Coffee, my chair, the box. Yeah, I just sort of get myself together. So uh, five to ten is when we'll start. I mean, not five to ten, that was ten minutes ago. I mean, five to ten minutes from now. Okay, yeah.
you're so shiny. You're a big explorer. Hi, Villa, I assume. All right, give me one sec, everybody. I'm almost set. Bye. Okay, kittens. Bye, right, run away. <clears throat> All right. Well, hey, it's time for mailbag. I still haven't got us set up to play the mailbag jingle again. I uh, sorry. Uh, it's not, there's, not, there's so much stuff pending. It hardly even seems right to talk about it anymore. It's just it's just me constantly saying uh, we got to get caught up on everything all the time. Uh, so that's fine. All right. I'm just gonna move in here a little bit because uh, the kittens are tiny. 
far away from the camera. We have the close-up camera if we need it. And uh, speaking of, let me just check the angles real quick here. Make sure we look good. I think we are looking good. Good enough. I still feel like I'm kind of far from the camera. Maybe we should zoom it in just a little bit on top of that. Plus, uh, If they're going to be zooming around behind me, I'll get the ceiling camera on for you. Um, and uh, if not, then, you know, they're fine, whatever. And that, I think, we're ready. I hope we are. So, uh, let's start. As we always do, uh, we start with the news of the week. And it was kind of a big week because... Um, uh, Scotty had her kittens. There's six of them. They're all in great shape. Um, there were three of them that started much smaller than the other three. And of those, uh, there were, uh, you know, two that, that maybe uh, had a little bit of a rough start nursing and weren't making the gains that we would like to see, especially right off the bat. Uh, you know, those things are more sensitive, uh, the sort of the younger that you are. So there's a big difference between not making any gains at one day and not making any gains, you know, at one week. Uh, a, a huge difference. So um, we did some supplemental feedings, and I, I think, knock on wood, uh, that we are, um, well, we're out of the woods. Um, so, uh, you know, I, I think that uh, Pug and uh, Bassett, who were the ones that needed the supplemental feedings, they seem like they've, they've picked it up now on their own, and they've got it from here with their mom, Scotty. So that's good news. Uh, as far as we can tell, all six kittens are in great health. Uh, and, um, yeah. Then, of course, down here we have River and her five kittens. This is only their second time, maybe third time, uh, maybe technically third time, really only their second time coming out of their room for any sort of period of time, though. And uh, it seems like they are slowly starting to explore. The kittens are. The kittens are a little shy, but once they, they start to explore a little bit, then they're all in, and they're going to be zooming around like crazy. And they've explored this room before. Uh, and then their mom, River, is surprising because she is very shy, but she's also a big explorer. And now that she knows the rest of the house exists, she's very anxious to go and check it out. In fact, right now, I can tell what she is thinking is, yeah, the living room's great, but I want to see the rest. Uh, we've got a gate up over in the kitchen so that she can't really get to the rest of the house, kind of. Of course, an adult cat like her can easily get over the gate. And uh, based on the fact that she jumped up onto the counter yesterday, uh, we've, I don't think we've ever had a mom cat jump onto the counter on her own without, you know, some practice and encouragement over time. Uh, so I think maybe she's familiar with that. One way or the other, though, she's comfortable jumping on and over things, so the, the fence may or may not stop her. Uh, but it's really just there to slow her down because uh, yesterday she met most of the faculty and was great with them. Uh, great with them. There was a little bit of hissing and, you know, a little bit of, of uh, back and forth, with, especially with Maggie trying to establish who was dominant, but uh, which they haven't sorted out yet. And I'm, I'm also, I wouldn't be entirely comfortable letting the faculty uh, hang out with her around her kittens without supervision. But, uh, you know, on the whole, I've got a lot of confidence that she's going to be okay with everybody. Uh, and there's a good chance Logan's always like looking over the fence, just waiting for the right chance to jump over he hasn't already, uh, I'm sure he will at some point during mailbag, so we can look out for that fun. Um, but she's met Logan, and I think she's okay with him, too. All right. Uh, I think that's all the important news. Oh, of course, and some of you know that today was the day that we were scheduled to have um, Blotch adopted, uh, which is not going to happen. So that's been postponed. We don't know exactly when the adopter is going to make it, but there was supposed to be a storm, I guess, uh, or some bad weather between here and there uh, that they didn't want to make the trip today. I don't know if it was canceled or if the storm's still going. Um, I don't have the slightest idea, but it's you know obviously a little late to, to you know uh, replan. And I think better safe than sorry is a great policy. Plus, I love the fact that we get a little more time with Splotch. Uh, and, uh, and, you know, we've been working things out with her, by the way, the snort that she had is completely gone. Uh, her, her poop issues are also, it seems completely gone. So that's all good. Uh, all right. So yeah, no adoption for splotch today. And I think that is it for the news. Now let's see, I need a letter over here. Mm -hmm. All right, let's just jump right in. Oh, I think the first letter is from my mom. That's awesome. 
nice positive way to start mailbag. All right, so, oh, we have a postcard and we have a note. Oh, we have a fresh postcard. It's so cute. It is a mom cat surprisedly holding a little kitten. Uh, or maybe she's just sort of playing with him and she's got a real happy look on her face with a couple of other little kittens in a basket sitting next to a bowl of milk. It is a great little drawing, uh, painting. Uh, and I believe it is the Lewis Wayne, uh, one of probably early in his career. Uh, and I'm not, I'm not super familiar with him. We had a book on him that I sort of skimmed, and I know they just made that movie about him that I wanted to watch. But uh, DJ and I have obviously a little difficulty uh, tuning into a movie that's about cats because so many of them have to get that emotional hook, and they do it in the ways you wouldn't like. So we'll see, though. And it is still on my list of things to check out. Uh, so uh, my mom writes, Dear Chris, Dr. DJ, and KA fans everywhere, Looks like we're all in for some exciting times during these next few months with every nook and cranny of the Academy bursting at the seams with adorable little kittens and beautiful mom cats. By the time you receive this letter, I imagine Scotty will have given birth already, hoping for some beautiful, healthy little babies that require very little in the way of care from Mr. A. Scotty looks like she's probably had kittens before and will know exactly what to do. We can all hope. I decided that postcards were not very likely to make it all the way to Connecticut, so I'm writing on old stationery and including the postcard within, hoping it will arrive in a more timely fashion. Lewis Wayne was, well before his time illustrating everyday life using cats as the subjects, he did a lot with his art to bring cats from mere pest controller agents to being pampered pets. I'm kind of fascinated by his art in a way, bold use of color, and it got even wilder as his mental illness advanced but such a brilliantly curious mind. If you didn't get a chance to watch the movie a couple of months ago, I hope you'll catch it next time around. Give all the cats and kittens a kiss from me, stay warm, and wear your mittens when you go outside. I love you, Mom. I love you too, Mom. Uh, thank you so much for writing, and uh, I guess I can always just ask you what you think about the movie and uh, what it contains, so maybe I'll go there. Uh, all right, uh, great to hear from you. Here. Oh, this one has a uh, donation. Thank you very much for your generous donation. I am going to put that right over here so that it does not get lost later on. And thank you so much. That is, that is very kind of you. Here you say, uh, Kitten Academy, Mr. A and Dr. DJ, nothing glitzy or glamorous, just lots of love, pets and kisses from an admirer of Betty White. Thank you for everything you do to protect animals. From Old Knit One. Uh, thank you, Old Knit One. I really appreciate it. And uh, I appreciate Betty White, too. So that's sweet of you. I know there was a big thing uh, when she passed recently about donating to people sort of in her name, which is super cool. And uh, I always think that's a classy thing for people to do. So uh, thank you so much for that Old Knit One for the donation. Here we have a letter from On Angel's Wings. On Angel's Wings, you might remember, is the animal shelter that we worked with when we were in Illinois. <laughs> just, had, just had a little chase happen behind the camera, but there's no good way to get an angle on that. I'm sorry. It was funny though, because uh, the chase ended with um, uh, Bungalow ran behind the door and the kitten chasing him, who I don't know, might've been Lodge or something, ran right past uh, the other way and missed him. It was very cartoony. I guess he had to be there. Okay. Uh, this says, thanks, love, on Angel's Wings. Dear Chris and Deepa, your follower, James, made a very generous donation to On Angel's Wings in honor of Kitten Academy. Aw. A paw print in honor of KA will be added to our new pet transport van. I'll, pet transport van, I'll send you a picture. Love, Jeanette. Aw, thank you. I'll say it again. We miss you. Wondering how Deepa is enjoying being a doctor. Oh, thank you, Jeanette. I will, uh, I'll have to get back to you on that, I guess. I don't know if you're watching the mailbag. Probably not. You've got a lot of stuff for you, you to take care of there with your shelter. Uh, all the stuff that you're doing. And I heard that you, uh, you know, that everything has changed since we've been there. And the new transport van, that sounds awesome. You got your own van. I love it. I love what everybody is doing. It's fantastic. And thank you to James uh, for that, for that donation to On Angel's Wings uh, in our name. All right, here we have a really cute, like, uh, I think it's a, sort of a Year of the Tiger card, which I'm only getting because it's got all these little tigers on it and it looks very sort of happy, uh, celebration-y. Um, and it says, the card says, 
Dear Eddie, and I'm going to completely mispronounce this, uh, but it does say on the front of the card, uh, Akimashite Omaditu Gozaimasu. All right, I tried. As it says on the front of the card, Happy Year of the Tiger. Somehow, I made this card upside down. Uh, in Nikko, Japan, there's a shrine gate with an upside down pillar to avoid the sin of being perfect. So let's go with that. Anyway, here's hoping that your special year is nearly perfect. Keep on shedding. Love, Emily, who is chocolate chip on Discord when my computer's working, it says. And I, I don't, I, I think I said it, but maybe if I didn't, uh, that was addressed to Eddie. Dear Eddie, um, happy year of the tiger. So there you go. Uh, that's why it says keep on shedding. Love, Emily. Uh, chocolate chip on Discord. Emily, that is a really, really cute little card. Thank you very much. Uh, did you, you made this card? Um, I, I, I can't tell that it's upside down. Probably maybe the letters aren't, I wouldn't know. Um, but uh, it's, it's cute. And I like the, the like paint that you've used for these little tigers and things. It's really, really cute the way this is stamped. Uh, and it's like this thick uh, texture. It's, uh, it's adorable. So uh, that must have been uh, something to make. I wonder how the little tiger stamps work because it looks like it looks like they're like a colored underneath with just a gradient and then like a stamp kind of a thing on top. Um, so the part that is the tiger space is where the the paint is missing. It's interesting. Ooh, wow! Rainbow quilling. This is very pretty. So it, uh, it is quilling is where you, you curl up little pieces of paper to make a drawing or a, you know, an art. And that's exactly what it is. Oh, and another very generous donation. Thank you very, very much. Wow. Hang on, I want to show this to everybody. But first, I got to put that in here. OK. Um, and it has a note and a card. So and something else here. Oh, it says a list. It has stationery. It says, things I ought to do. Uh, that's a very cute little pun with pictures of otters on it, of course, things I ought to do. And then we have the really beautiful uh, rainbow quilled cat. Uh, and it says, Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, faculty, cats, and kittens. I'm enclosing a donation to KA from Liam and Juliana in memory of their precious kitty, Ruby. Thank you for all you do for mom, cats, and kittens. You both have very big hearts. Take good care from, uh, I think it says Beanie L. Beanie L on Discord, a.k.a. Linda. Yes, use as you see fit. Well, Linda, a.k.a. Uh, BNL, uh, thank you very, very much for the generous donation from Liam and Juliana uh, and Ruby. It's beautiful. Uh, thank you very, very much. Okay. We're going to put that right there. And we're going to put this right here. Okay. Now it is time to dig into this giant pile of things separate out these envelopes and have a sip of my coffee. There we go. Envelopes can go over here and check the chat to make sure everything's still going well. And I am going to turn on the overhead camera, even if it can't really see too much. Uh, let's just see what it can see. All right. Oh, here we go. Um, living room camera. Okay. Working on it. We're getting there. Maybe it's that one. There we go. All right. Yeah, I know. They might be kind of small and hard to see, but they're all over there playing on the tree. And I could try zooming in, but really, um, it, it doesn't make it any clearer. Uh, this The camera that's in that corner is not one of these zoom cameras. So really, zooming in just means enlarging the pixels. Uh, so, it is what it is. If they end up in a good spot for me to use my phone camera, though, to record them for a minute, I'll certainly do that. Meanwhile, I'd like to keep this rolling as much as possible so we get through it in finite time. Let's start with this big white box. Okay, that's uh, uh, well described to it. It's a big white box. Packing material? Oh, blankets. I see blankets. Hang on. Wow. Okay. It is a lot of the, the standards, uh, Kitten Academy standard stuff that we always can use more of. 
first off, we have receiving blankets, and uh, uh, this one's got some couple really cute patterns in it, including this top pattern. They're, they're sort of all rose colored, and this this one on top has this little kitten sniffing flowers. It's adorable. We have a whole bunch more receiving blankets too. We've got these grays, medium gray, always a good color for the camera. Because uh, then no matter what the kittens look like, the camera is well adjusted um, uh, uh, exposure wise. Okay, I thought I heard kittens uh, like growling, but it was just them hitting that, that thing. Uh, here we have dinosaurs. Ooh, dinosaurs. Oh, there we go. That's very, very cute. Uh, this looks like animal prints, including uh, one with flowers. Okay, I take it back. Not animal prints. Just a random assortment. Uh, we got a, an animal, a leopard print, a stripe, and a flower. And then one more, which is polka dots in blue. Beautiful. So we do go through a fair amount of receiving blankets, although I feel like we've got a pretty good stock right now. And uh, at the bottom here, we found the note. So the note says, just a note. These lovely little flowers in bell jars and dear mr a and dr dj just wanted to send you a little practical gift for the cats and kittens at kitten academy the blankets are to be used as you see fit from beatrice and bernadette b and b and our cat family well thank you b and b beatrice and bernadette and uh thank you for uh, all that it is it's a very practical assortment of things uh, so first off, the receiving blankets, like I say, uh, I have said things like we can always use more receiving blankets, um, but we're actually pretty good set up, you know, I think it is at this point. So, uh, you know, we do get through them eventually, though, in due time, and I assume if we end up with way too many, we can always end up uh, re-donating those. So they, they never go to waste. We have some cat at Nibbly Grills, which are a very popular treat. They're one of the treats that uh, we can give to the cats that they like that doesn't necessarily cause bad poops. So uh, it's good to have treats that, that give us that option. And they're a big hit, surprisingly. They're also, at least last time I looked, a little hard to find on Amazon. Uh, you have to usually sort of get them from like Chewy or a local store, uh, which is tricky. Maybe maybe they've fixed that since then. Uh, wait, Chewy? No, I don't even think you can get them on Chewy because that would have been too easy. All right, anyway, uh, and then you've also included the Fancy Feast Chicken Feast Classic Pate, uh, which is exactly the food that we use here. You've included two of those. It's perfect. That's what we've got everybody eating. It's even what we have our mom cat, Scotty, upstairs eating, actually. Uh, we did give her a little bit of RC, mom and baby cat, to, to you know help her out a bit as she was recovering from the birth. Um, but it also, as it usually does, gave her really bad poops because it's such rich food. And I thought that the, the diarrhea probably was uh, a little rougher on her system. Uh, so fancy feast it is. Uh, we try to stick to it as much as possible. And our doctor assures us that it's got everything that she needs for the kittens. Uh, and she can eat a ton of it. And it's uh, good food. So we like all that. Anyway. All right. Uh, here we are. It says aliens have landed at Kitten Academy. Uh, they certainly have. And we got all these arrows telling us which way to go. So uh, let's cut open this side, I think. There we go. Perfect. Oh, wow. I did, and I cut right through, and here's the note. Wow. All right, that cut easier than I thought. We've got a note right on top. The note says, Hi, Mr. A and Dr. DJ. What is a space theme without aliens? So here are a few for your space room. For deployment now and later can be used for endowments. Take care and stay safe. Charlie, I, Purrs and Meows from Weirdo and Kevin. P.S. No catnip in the aliens. All right. Uh, Charlie, I, thank you so much for sending us aliens. Let's see what we got. Again. All right, packing material, packing material. Oh, 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 wow. This is not at all what I expected. These are really cute handmade uh, crocheted uh, aliens. Little crocheted aliens. And they're very cute. So first off, uh, let's start here. We have a little green alien with a, a he's got a very cute look on his face, mischievous look on his face. We have an orange alien who I think uh, may have spent some time or been an inspiration for the Pac-Man game. Here we have a little uh, gray guy with some green eyes and some funky hair. Uh, here we've got a blue alien with little tiny tentacles at the bottom. And uh, this purple guy with a yellow stripe. Also, he's got like little front tentacles. He doesn't have tentacles all the way around. He's just got little front 
very cute how they're each different and, and uh, unique and adorable. And there's exactly the right number of them. Oh, wait, uh, there's another there's six. Okay, there's an extra for me. This one has three eyes, too. I like him. Oh, he's a little bigger. He's got a variety of sizes and shapes. And oh, yeah, I forgot. Uh, there's a big one, too. <laughs> Look at that face. I love the faces and the details and the expressions uh, and the creativity here. And these little, these arms on this alien with these little uh, like sucker ends are, are very cool detail. Uh, all of this is really, really cool detail. I love it. So uh, they are going to love these. I love these. I really, I want to make sure that these go back with their endowments. And I might want to marinate them with some catnip before I deploy them so that they really get attacked, right? Wouldn't that be fun? Uh, and I think I've got some catnip right out there. So I'm going to put all these back in here for a minute. We're going to send them through the catnip to start out and see what happens. I think that'll be more fun, right? You don't mind. Uh, so that's what we'll do. And I think right now we're going to use that box to just toss stuff into that we don't need out. All right. Charlie, I, that is so sweet. I think there's another box here for me. Maybe we should jump straight to that. It's, uh, it's this one here. That is similarly packaged. It does, uh, it says, um, sorry, I ran out of special tape. Okay. Oh, and the other one said, sorry, I ran out of paper. So we're running out of everything, Charlie. Uh, you, it's time to restock. Uh, this one has a cutting guide on it, which tells me to cut it the same way I cut the last one. So that's good. And it has a note on top, which, oh, no, I cut through the note. That's a first. I don't think I've ever actually done that. People have been worried about it quite a while. But there's the first time for everything, so there we go. Uh, it does say a very short note, note number one. All right, let's see. The very short note says, Hi, Mr. Blank. It's been cut. Uh, oh, here we go. Hi, Mr. A. Saw this and thought of you. Not sure of the size, but you can grow into it. Take care, Charlie. Hi. Oh, thank you, Charlie. That's very sweet of you. Uh, this is... It is, it's an extra large t-shirt. Um, I typically, uh, just on average, wear a large. Uh, I can fit a medium um, and uh, then extra large I enjoy because then I can just really let myself go. I wear those all the time, no worries. This says um, cats and coffee. Wow, two things that is, uh, I can see why you thought of me. I mean, this is exactly my deal, isn't it? It's beautiful, it's got a really cute kitty and that coffee cup looks pretty happy too. So uh, thank you, Charlie. Uh, I, don't, I don't know where to put any of this stuff yet. Okay, but there's another note. Note number two, it says. Perfect. Is that right back there? <laughs> this is a cat uh, trying to get through a cat door, and he's stuck, and it says, bugger. Uh, and the door is also open, so you wonder, uh, maybe whoever is, like, observing the scene here opened the door so that they could get the, the proper angle uh, on the cat, or maybe he just is, is like that. Uh, unclever. Who knows? All right, start again. Hi, Mr. A and Dr. DJ. These mini plushes can be given out to the adopter's children as a special thank you gift for taking on a KA kitten and or mom cat from KA fans. Take care and stay safe. Charlie, I, hers and meows from Weirdo and Kevin. Aw, uh, plushies, mini plushies. Ooh, oh wow, it's, uh, it's, it's mini M-I-N-I, -I, but it's also mini M-A-N-Y. Uh, that is a lot of little plushies. So here we have a giant selection of really cute, tiny animals. It's every kind of animal, and each one has a little tiny loop on it so that you could, I don't know, uh, hang it from a keychain or a phone or uh, just carry it around uh, conveniently. Those are super cute. Every kind of little animal in there. Oh, the, the rabbit has a, a, a clothing on. I don't think any of the others are wearing clothing. Oh, wait, there's one with a bow. All right, there's a couple. Uh, then uh, we also have slightly larger ones. I guess we can just match these to the kids. Like if you have a very small kid, you can have a very small toy. If you have a medium kid, you can have a medium toy. Uh, oh, we have another set of just slightly larger. Okay, so tiny, slightly larger. Uh, slightly larger, and I'm not sure which of these are the bigger ones. Uh, there we go. So, thank you, Charlie. I, this is really cute, and I'm sure that we will find adopters uh, whose kids think that these are just the cutest thing. I think they're just the cutest thing. Um, so, yeah. 
All right, I'm going to slide those right over there. Thank you very much. Okay. <clears throat> Kitten Academy. Oh, Lena. This is from Lena. Lena wrote me. Uh, now, if you remember, Lena is uh, um, the one who always sends uh, personalized items for the classes, like a little dish with their name on it or a little toy with their name on it. It's very cute stuff. And uh, Lena contacted me on Discord to let me know that she had sent stuff for Buttons and Bumble and that uh, Buttons uh, Adopter, and this does, yes, this does say for the beautiful and adorable Buttons and Bumble, love and spoogles, Lena. Uh, Lena did say that um, we could send uh, Bumble stuff on in due time, so that's fine. Uh, button stuff, yes, okay. There we go. So let's take a look here. Oh, these are big. All right. These are not the ones that you've sent before. Wow. Uh, all right. We're just going to open one because they're very tightly packed for the shipping. And hopefully, we got Bumbles because Buttons is the one that we're going to probably have to ship again. Let's find out. Uh, Bumble! Yay, we win! Oh, this is so classy. Wow. It's a, it's a white, you know, like stoneware, uh, and then it's got Bumble's name on a little fish on the front. You see that? And uh, it's still got paper packing in the middle. Uh, I don't think there's anything inside. No, just, it's plain. It's white. It's very classy. Uh, I like it quite a bit. And it says Bumble on the front. And I assume the one for buttons is identical. So we're going to just hang on to this so it gets home safe with Bumble when she is adopted, eventually. Uh, speaking of, I have some nice pictures of Bumble, and uh, I need to, to encourage people to apply to adopt her because I don't think she has either adopters or, as far as I know, applications. Of course, some of that is because I have not yet opened the applications on our website, uh, which I need to do ASAP. Um, so anyway, uh, Lena, thank you. Those are so cute. The one for, for buttons will uh, obviously get the buttons in due time. And the one for Bumble will, of course, go home with Bumble. And I'm just going to write buttons. Bumble. Perfect. All right. So thank you for that. All right. Next we have... Unknown. I don't know which way to open this either. Ooh. All right, let's see. Is this what's in here? It is a cat toy. And if that's all that's in here, of course. Oh, the note. Hey, look at that. I was going to be like, we won't have a note. But there it is. That's good. Good work. Uh, Wild Tumbler Interactive Cat Toy. Oh, I see. So it's like the spinny toys with a feathery thing on the end, um, but it's also like a weeble wobble at the bottom. Uh, so it probably is going to spin around and flop around and go every which way. I can see that being a big hit. And uh, the note on this lovely stationery, lovely handmade stationery, says, Hello, KA and fans. I saw this toy on a different kitten stream, and it looked like fun. I decided to order two, one for my own kittens and one for your students. I like it better than the butterfly because it changes direction. And if they tip it over, it's even more fun rolling around and tipping upright again. But it works best on a hard floor, not on carpet. It came with a set of four extra attachments, but I kept two and I'm sending you two. I hope they last because I don't know about replacements. My kittens want to know, why do you feed kittens adult cat food instead of kitten food? Does it matter? Is it okay for us to switch? Thanks for all you do, both for kittens and for their followers from... M. Hobbit and Sophia and Toby. M. Hobbit, uh, that's a name I recognize from previous notes. And Sophia and Toby, uh, thank you so much for the fun toy and for the excellent question about the food. Um, so uh, when it comes to kitten food, in the past, we have fed kittens the uh, specifically RC mom and baby cat uh, when they're very young and then usually switch them to the fancy feast as they get a little bit older. There are intermediate foods that are sold, um, like uh, there's a there's even an RC kitten food. There's a Fancy Feast kitten food that would go in between those two. Um, but as time has gone on here at the academy, um, we've reduced and uh, to the point of finally eliminating, uh, in most cases, the RC mom baby cat for kittens. So 
Normally, we wean them straight from their mom to the fancy feast, and we do use the RC mom and baby cat still when they're having some trouble making the jump and need a little extra encouragement because it's food that they really like. Uh, the trouble is that it's food that's really rich, and they usually end up having really bad poops. Uh, if not right off the bat, then over time, uh, as, as you know, they get a little bit bigger and it becomes too much for them. Um, so there's nothing wrong with feeding a kitten food to a kitten. If you want to do that, uh, it's fine. But uh, at least according to our vet and in our experience so far, it's also not really necessary. The adult food has everything a kitten needs in it. And uh, they do fine on it. So that's that's really most of it. Also, the fact that uh, I haven't looked into any of the kitten foods specifically for sort of their contents. But the food that we do use, the, the Fancy Feast Chicken Feast Classic Pate, um, you know, uh, say what you will about Purina Fancy Feast. Um, the Classic Pate is a very affordable, wet food that is high in protein and low in carbs exactly what you want uh, from sort of a high level. Uh, I think there's other things you could ask for in a food that maybe Fancy Feast doesn't give you. Um, but uh, all of those are also going to come at a big premium and uh, not stuff that's, that's super critical either. So um, yeah, the, uh, the Fancy Feast has been very good for us. So every now and then we take a look around and see if there's anything else out there that could suit us, uh, you know, if we can improve our, our game a little bit. But so far, uh, we haven't found anything that really just consistently works out. And again, high protein, low carb like this. My suspicion is a lot of the kitten foods are going to include a lot of extra carbs and stuff that the kittens don't, don't actually benefit that much from. Uh, so anyway, that's why. And I, I don't think it's wrong to feed your kittens kitten food, but generally we just skip it entirely. They go straight from mom to the adult fancy feast and it's good. It works out really well. So, uh, so there you go. I, again, I don't, I don't think there's anything wrong with kitten food or doing it that way. Uh, it's just over time, this is, this is where we've landed. It's something that really works for us and has fewer complications, I guess, that would be the way. All right. And uh, I, I should mention that, you know, the whole idea of, like, ditching the kitten food in the first place was something that was brought up by our vet, where, like, you know, maybe you just don't even need to do that at all. So, perfect. All right, here we have a note. Right, this is an interesting package. Oh, the note's got a little black cat on it. And it says, uh, meow must stay with a, with a cat who's got like uh, galaxies in his glasses. It's a very spacey uh, picture. It says, the weirdness in me honors the weirdness in you. I like that. It says, made by Claudia and sent with best wishes. Oh, uh, dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ. Oh, excuse me. Uh, thank you so much for what you do for these mama cats and kittens. Our whole family loves watching your channel. Mr. A, I'm sure you were joking about this during a recent mailbag, but I couldn't resist making this sign for you. I made sure to still include the kitty theme, and I hope you like it. My four cats all made sure to take turns keeping me company while I stitched this. Again, thank you so much for all you do. And then it says, the weirdness in me honors the weirdness in you made by Claudia. I think it's Claudia. Claudia? I'm probably mispronouncing it for you, and I apologize. Uh, sit with best wishes, humans, Johan, Hans, and Ritter, and the cats, Kenny, Kiki, Frumpkin, and Max. Wow, those are great names. All of them are great names. Uh, Frumpkin, especially. Uh, Frumpkin is just what a great name. Okay. Uh, so here we have Churu, just a little sort of bonus, I think. That's perfect. Chicken recipe, Churu. Good stuff. The cats love it. And at the bottom here, Apparently a sign. Is this a sign? It is a sign. And I, I'm, oh, <laughs> I was joking, but this is exactly what I expected when you said this. I love it. Uh, it is a, it's a cross stitch. Uh, actually, it's not all cross stitch. I shouldn't say that. It's a needlework um, sign that says, yes, I really do need all these signs. And then it's got a border that is cats, and the cats also spell out uh, with the, the head and, and tails and body of the cats. It says meow. That's really clever. Uh, let's see if I can get you a little close-up picture of this on the screen right now for everybody. There we go. Look at that. It says, yes, I really do need all these signs. And if you look at it, the cats are so clever because they spell out the word meow. Um, 
and uh, there are also little cat heads and bodies and tails. How cool is that? So this is definitely going right up in front next to, yes, now we have three of the signs that says, yeah, the signs that say, yes, I really do need all of these cats. And I'm just gonna add this that says, yes, I really do need all these signs. It's perfect. It was a joke and it's also hilarious and awesome. I wanna keep your card with the sign, but I also wanna put it over there right now and show everybody what we're talking about. As long as I have the close-up camera out already, why not do that, right? Okay, well, we can do the mail bag with the run. If this is working. Oh, but no sound. Sorry. We'll put all that together uh, and sort of uh, arrange that later. Um, but thank you so much. It's super cool. It's a lot. Okay. All right. Wow, the kittens, uh, you came over here to look at things when I got up. Are you afraid? Are you a little nervous about me? Because I tell you what, I got some treats over here. If anybody wants to come over and have a treat, I know your mom is a treat fiend. Uh, and let's see, she likes little crunchy things, and this is crunchy. Salmon a la veg recipe food for cats, specially prepared entree. All right, I think it's supposed to be food. But one fun thing about feeding your kittens, uh, feeding your cats wet food as we do, uh, one fun thing about that is then any dry food seems like a treat to them. And that is a, it's another good way to give them a, a healthy treat. Let's just see if we can get, uh, we've got one tiny little victim right here. Let's just see what he will do, if anything. What are those? So they've never seen dry food before. These, I mean, as far as we know. Um, but I did give him a dry treat the other day, one single one, and he couldn't really figure it out. And so he doesn't know what to do with this either. But if his mom would come over, River, River, come here. If his mom would come over here, she would figure it out in a hurry. All right, we'll just leave that for a minute while we keep going. Uh, thank you so much for that sign, by the way. It's beautiful. It really is beautiful. And I just, I love the fact that you put the cats and the border and made it all tie together. Uh, it's wonderful. It's funny. It's clever. And it's very well done. Thank you. All right. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, this is way too much. It is a robot uh, costume. It is from the Hide and Eat Boutique. Uh, I've never seen this one before, but that's it's what it is. It is a, here, I'll show you the, uh, Here's the costume. It says extra small. It's still kind of big, but I bet one of the faculty would fit into it just fine. It's very like futuristic, spacey, shiny. Uh, it's got a little microphone. Uh, it says robot, but it's really more like an astronaut, isn't it? Because I mean, why does a robot need a microphone? It doesn't. Uh, it's super, super cute. I love it. It's perfect. Wow. Uh, oh, this was sent from in my dreams. In my dreams uh, for the uh, for the photography. Uh, that's what it is. It's for photo shoot. In my dreams sends a lot of cute little props for photo shoots. So I will add this to our photo shoot collection and bring it out uh, as soon as I can. I'm just trying to figure out where to put it so it's taken upstairs appropriately. I think it's just got to go over there for now. All right. In my dreams. Thank you so much. Uh, let me see if I can lure River real quick. I just wanted to see that I have something fun for her to come over here for because she's crazy about it when she doesn't get food. Oh, oh my goodness. Yeah, she just, she gets like hyper. She gets like, uh, in fact, um, when she was meeting Maggie yesterday, that's the thing. It was almost too much to, to give her food around Maggie because that's when she got growly and stuff because she drinks her food. Very much a food driven cat. Um, so. All right. So I bet she'll come out here now that she knows that there's food on offer. What are these? These are all oh, from Joy F. All right, Joy. Uh, River and Scotty. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Joy. Let's see. So these are, whoa, what? How long has this been a thing? Is this new? 
It is, it's Yao Catnip Pineapples. Uh, I thought I was familiar with the entire Yao Catnip line, um, but apparently not. Uh, wow, when did they start doing that? Joy, um, huh. Okay, let's see. There's also a note. Let's see what it says. The note says, uh, oh, <laughs> thanks for talking. Okay, this is from the, this is from the, the vendor on Etsy or something. Uh, Mickey's, no, it's Mickey's Pet Supplies. Oh, I think we even know Mickey's Pet Supplies because that's where you can get some of this stuff that's hard to find. Uh, so there you go. Mickey's Pet Supplies. It's mickeyspetsupplies.com. Uh, and there's a coupon code if you guys want to use it, I guess. Why not? I'm, not, I'm probably not going to use it. Uh, if you can't read that, the coupon code is B7WQ8 uh, from uh, Mickey's Pet Supplies. All right. They also included a Tiki Cat and Cruncher's Chicken Cat Treats, uh, like four of them, so that's cute. Pineapple, Yao Cat and Pineapple, though. I can smell it, too. Like, that's the real thing. Yao Cat is very good. All the cats love it. Uh, I can't believe you found this. I can't believe it exists. Is it a new thing? Is it an old and rare thing? I don't know. Who knows? What, are you going to eat those? So uh, River then got up and went to her regular food dish. River, 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 did you hear that? She's completely ignoring me. Okay, well, that's all right. Uh, wow, that's that's really something. That is spectacular. I don't know where to put this. Uh, I'm going to put it right over here for the moment. Uh, okay, I'm just going to set it there. <laughs> uh Wow. Okay. Uh, uh, Joy F. Uh, wow. Thank you so much. Uh, Yao Cat is pineapple. I do know. That is too much. It is way too cool. All right. Uh, this is going to go over here. Hi, buddy. Hi. What are you looking for? Hey, do you want to try one of these? Because these are food. What do you think? Did you eat one? No? You want, here, maybe you need something a little softer. We also, I do have this churu sitting right here, which we can go to. Um, but let's see if you'll eat a little thing like this. What is this? Like that? This is, really, this is there's a lot of smell to it. Wow, you can almost, you can't miss it. That's for sure. This thing is very smelly. Smelly food's good. Smelly food's good, right? Come on. Try it out. Freeze-dried duck. It says duck with oranges. Wow, I didn't realize oranges were there before. Uh, hmm, duck with oranges. Okay. Also, it has a food pyramid for cats that includes mostly meat and then slightly less vegetables and uh, also fruit. It's news to me. What do I know? I'm not a cat nutritionist. Okay. Uh, all right. Let's keep on rolling. I think I think they're going to start to get into this pile of foods and treats here. All right. We've got another one from Joy F. Uh, with a note inside that says, Hi, Mr. A and Dr. DJ. Mommy said we could send plushies to the tiny puppies. They may arrive in separate shipments. Mom said she will DM the list to KA, whatever that means. Thank you for all you do. Kit nuts from Bayou, Lila, and Abby, and Joy F, of course. So uh, this one is a uh, Mary Meyer plush. Is it a rabbit? I guess I'm going to have to open the package to see. Sorry. Uh, oh, it's an elephant. Oh, there we go. Now I can see. Oh, isn't he cute? That's a cute little elephant. And uh, I did get a DM on Discord with the list of which animal was for <laughs> which kitten. Kids are still being a little spooky, aren't you? So I did get a list. Let's just find out real quick. Let's check it out because we might get a whole bunch of these. And uh, let's just see. There it is. Okay. It looks like the elephant is for St. Bernard uh, elephant, and it's probably because he's so big. I mean, it just makes sense. So that's for St. Bernard. We're also going to have a puppy for Pug, a bunny for Bee, a unicorn for Pomp, a lamb for Bassett, and a fox for Jack, uh, Jack Russell. So there we go. Okay. For now, he can sit right here, and then we'll just see what's next. Uh, Joy and uh, Associated Crew of Kittens, thank you very much. All right. <clears throat> well, that's a very cool-looking blanket. Uh, I'm missing the note part of the note. There it is. Dear Mr. A, 
I hope this blanket is soft and comfy. It does appear to be very soft and comfy, and it has a picture of the uh, um, uh, nebula, of a nebula on it. I guess I can't really tell from this little corner which nebula it might be. Uh, but once we get it opened up and washed out, we will we'll find out. It's, uh, it's really cool. Look at that printing. This sublimation printing thing uh, is, is, is just so cool. Actually, I, don't, I shouldn't say I don't know for sure that that's what this is, but uh, there's this new printing, new, you know, decades old now probably, but uh, where they just print things end to end, and it's, it's like a photographic quality. It's going to be beautiful. Anyway, dear Mr. A, I hope this blanket is soft and comfy. Thank you and Dr. DJ for being such wonderful humans to all the faculty and mom cats and kittens and pragnots. Uh, bond sweet cherry flavor on Discord. Sweet cherry flavor on Discord. Flavor with a U O O U. Uh, sweet cherry flavor on Discord. That's a cute name. And uh, thank you so much, sweet cherry flavor, for an awesome, very space themed blanket. Uh, I can't wait to have that out on the beanbag chair. It's going to look so cool. Okay. Hey, hey, River, we got some cleanup to do right here. Oh, okay. Now, River, River, River. River, come here and eat river. River, 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 river. Okay, try some of that. All right, river. I like to say her name and also to touch her uh, while, we're, while she's eating treats and things she really likes. River, river, the main part is to associate that with the treats so she'll come when we call her. River, river. You like the dry ones too? Uh, and then the petting part is just to get her a little more accustomed to being petted. She doesn't, she doesn't actually mind being petted very much. She'll let me pick her up and I'll really like a baby and pet her all I want. Um, but, uh, you know, she's also not exactly a lab cat yet, so we're working on that. You can see she's a little bit like she's going to try to duck under it like cats do, like Maggie does. Oh, man, you need to eat more. So skinny. So skinny under all that food. Oh. Okay, good. Oh, oh, I don't think I got that entirely covered up. And I, didn't, I thought we were through all the stuff that was uh, sort of addressed this way, but I was incorrect. Let's open this one next. Uh, and there's a note, and there's a, this has got to be a coffee mug. It's not, it doesn't seem like a big secret at this point. Oh, especially now. <laughs> Sounds like a mug, shaped like a mug. Uh, and a note that says, okay to read on stream. Okay. Hi, River. River, would you like another treat, River? Oh, look, I've got some right here. River. River. Uh, so this is two cats talking to each other, and the one is saying, what are you wearing? Uh, and the other one appears to be wearing some insane sweater and says, you just don't understand fashion. Yes, uh, that's super cute. Uh, it says, hi, Mr. A, happy new year. I know you say to only send gifts for kittens, but I saw this in a shop on my trip in Scotland, and I couldn't resist. Unfortunately, there wasn't a DJ one. I know you have a lot of these, so please use as you see fit maybe grow tomatoes in it hugs and spoogles to all the cats and kittens at the academy especially loganberry who is my favorite i hope you and dj the academy classes and all the discord community have a great 2022 best wishes uh oh uh you've told me how to pronounce your name like a hundred times by now and it just it doesn't stay in my head uh, I should watch the show because then at least I would get it, right? It would just, I'd hear it so much. Okay, anyway, here we go. Best wishes. Uh, Ice Sedai from Discord. I'm so sorry. All right, what did you get? This is so nice of you to think of me like that, too. You didn't have to do that. Um, oh, wow. It says Mr. A, and it's in this really cool, uh, like, old timey font and uh, printing. And uh, also, this mug is. It's like, uh, it's seriously, uh, it's got a cool like shape to it and everything's just nice. It's just very nice. It also says history and heraldry uh, brand, uh, which is interesting, right? Anyway, that's just, a, it's a cute, it's a very cute mug. It's fancy, it's super fancy Mr. A mug and uh, I dig it. So thank you so much, um, AS. <laughs> I really appreciate it. Um, it's super cute. And yeah, DJ, DJ probably doesn't need one anyway. You said grow tomatoes in it. I just recently made an attempt to grow some tomatoes and they grow too much for, uh, for my set. I put them in too small of a thing. 
uh, which was bigger than this mug, apparently. I did not realize that tomatoes grew so big, so fast, uh, and I had to actually abandon it. I'm going to have to start over. Uh, so I don't think it's for tomatoes. If I were going to grow something in a mug, I would grow cat grass, uh, but this one I think I'm just going to pretty, and it says Mr. A, and I'm going to be sitting here with a mug that says Mr. A. I like it too much for that. Uh, thank you so much. Okay. There we go. Uh, wow. We almost, almost didn't get that one until like the end. <clears throat> okay. Uh, no note here. Maybe there's one inside. Oh, hey, these are cool. Another cat toy that's new on me, and I like it. I like this one a lot. Uh, this is a little tiny, it says catnip stars, and they're just little stars made out of mesh. Uh, some kind of a little mesh. Uh, what do you call this stuff? I don't know the name for this. Anyway, um, little mesh stars with catnip in them. Very, very simple, very basic, and also very cute for some reason. They just, they appeal visually got a, a cool texture to them. I bet the cats would love to chew on them. And it says, here are some toys for River and family to enjoy at KA or for endowments as you see fit. Welcome to KA from Frozen Tundra Crew. Frozen Tundra Crew, thank you so much. These are very cute. I bet these kids would love one of these. I'd like to see one just being thrown around, so I'm going to pull one out right now. Uh, um, this is also the same kind of material that they make a lot of those teething toys for cats out of. And I don't think there's any science that says that that's uh, effective or, you know, like a good thing to do. Uh, but uh, it is a good chance for me to mention that they don't, they don't usually lose their teeth until well after they've left here. So these may be even better for endowments too. Who knows? If they do anything at all, if they are that sort of thing, uh, who knows? I don't really have a place for that yet, so I'm just going to toss it over there. And next up. Oh, oh wow. This is, I've seen Amazon, Amazon box in a box is a classic. Uh, this is the first time I think I've seen bag in a bag. Uh, but there we go. A uh, backdrop for River and the Tiny Townies from Busy Cat. Oh, Busy Cat. Okay, you did say, Busy Cat did say that uh, you were sending multiple photography backdrops for me to use. Uh, and I have just been working, hey River, I have just been working on setting up the new photo studio because uh, my old photo studio was just my office. And uh, that's all that got switched around. Now my office is the bedroom. And uh, I mean, whatever. But now there is a bedroom where my office used to be. That makes more sense. Uh, my office has been moved to a small room that's too small for photography, but that does leave the old bedroom wide open. And that's where I put all the photography stuff and I'm starting to kind of get it set up uh, to take more photography, which I need to get on. I fall way behind. Now I did just do a shoot with the kids upstairs, the little ones, uh, and it came out really well, and it just has to get edited and published next, but at least I've got the photos on file, so we captured the moment, and that's important, isn't it? Uh, let's see now. Uh, they folded this up with the print on the inside, so I can't exactly tell what it is yet. Uh, it's nice, though. It's this nice, heavy material, so it'll hang well as a backdrop, and... Wow, it's big. Very big. Let's see if we can get an idea, though. Oh, oh there we go. Whoa, whoa. Okay. All right. We're not going to... Now, I'm going to have to pull this back up. It's going to be a mess. It is a, it's a mountain scene with a, with a lake with the mountains reflected in it and a beautiful sky and some trees. It's like a meadow uh, with a... Oh, and there's some birds there in the water. Yeah. Oh, oh, here. Look over here, everybody. Hi. Okay, that's me. This is my photo backdrop. All right. Uh, these things usually, uh, the, to get all the wrinkles out, like you can iron them or put them in the dryer for a while or something. Um, so that's going to have to be a thing anyway. And so putting a few more wrinkles in first, probably not going to hurt anything too much. So just try to keep things moving here. Oh. All right, let's just fold this up however we do. Beautiful. Thank you very much for that. I forgot I had to put food in my lap. Um, and now I get you everywhere. I am sure River is a uh, good friend to me through the rest of the mailbags. 
River, what's all this? Do you want to clean this up? You want to be, oh, get the food cleanup crew, River? Yeah. Come on, River. Come on, look, that's a lot, too. Let's put the rest back in here before we forget about it again, right? Oh, maybe we're lucky we're going to get a clipper. Or if not, I'll just send it in there. Okay. You like that? Oh, oh, hi, buddy. Hi. Hi. I'm sorry. Here, come right out here and eat some. Your mom likes it. You can like it, too. It's okay. You want some, too, bud? Look, look, your mom's cleaning up. Try it out. All right, uh, thank you so much for the backdrop. That's going to be a fun one, and uh, it moves big too, so it'll be great for uh, you know. A lot of times it's, it can be tricky to set everything up so that just you've got the backdrop centered and everything's just right on it, uh, and you're always like, oh man, I wish I just had like just you know three more inches on either side would be even better. Um, so that's uh, the size of that's fantastic. Thank you. All right, here we have the next Joy F uh, little doll. This one is the dog, which is for Pug, I can see. Uh, really, it looks just like Barth from Spaceballs, though, doesn't he? Like if you made a, like a realistic Barth toy. Uh, yeah, anyway, there you go. Um, so that's, I think, for Pug, if I remember right. And I'll certainly look at the list before we hand those out. That's, I know, I gave you too much, didn't I? Well, Maggie will clean that up after mailbag, believe me. Oh, these are cute. Here we have more little receiving blankets with uh, um, these have little bears and things on them uh, and elephants. They're super adorable. And uh, this is from, oh, Dragon Lady. Thank you, Dragon Lady. Thank you very much. Uh, I did have it confirmed by Dragon Lady that Dragon Lady is sort of the front man uh, for a collective of former fosters who... Uh, uh, now like to watch Kids Academy. So thank you so much for that, uh, Dragon Lady and team. All right. Uh, I don't see the name or the address on this. What am I missing? How did this get to me? Am I blind? Oh, there it is. Okay, it just says Kitten Academy. Okay, I expected it to say uh, um, Busy Cat again because it feels like, like a photo backdrop or something in here. But it's not, is it? Is it? No, it is. It definitely is. And it says, natural scenery. Yes, it's another mountain and uh, sky view. Very similar. Uh, backdrop for River and the Tiny Townies from Busy Cat. All right, thank you so much. Uh, I'm not going to try to pull another one of those right after the last one. But I am uh, going to appreciate it very much. And I can kind of see it. So it's a very similar green uh, meadow and... Uh, uh, mountain and uh, and and uh, it's very very cute. Thank you so much. Okay. All right, Dragon Lady. This one says very tiny. Let's see what's in here. Oh, oh, it's hair ties. Uh, it's hair ties. Presum oh, hair ties and uh, presumably for custard. Uh, the interesting thing, though, is that they're very tiny. They're much smaller than the hair ties that, that are the standard hair tie size, I guess, that I always see. Uh, so these could be really fun. I think when it's this size, though, I'm definitely going to have to – I usually string a few of them together to make it a little safer to play with. So for these, for sure, that will be the case. Um, and uh, let's see. Where do I put that? I guess, I guess over there for now we'll figure it out. Dragon Lady, thank you so much. Custard is going to really appreciate that, though. You love the hair ties. And uh, it, it can't now these days. Every time, like I move a rug or something, it's just it, there's all these hair ties under it. It's a lot of fun. Okay, this says Joy F. So I will let you guess what it likely contains. I'm guessing it's going to be one of our little Beanie Baby uh, toys here. Uh, I said Beanie Babies. They're not Beanie Babies, though. They're Mary Meyer toys. This one is the unicorn, uh, and the unicorn I think is for Palm. Oh, so cute. What a very shiny unicorn one. There we go. Look at that. We've got a whole collection started now. Actually, this might be a good box to put them in. And this one has the whole cheat sheet, too. So we'll just put those all together. That works out too well. There we go. We can sit right in there. Excellent. 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 Joy and uh, Joy, Abby, Lila, and Bayou. Wow. Uh, all right. Thank you so much. You might be the first person who has cat's names I have in my head. 
Uh, oh, I did not cover this one up appropriately whatsoever. This is from Lisa G. And uh, I'll cover it with my thumb and then set the box out of the way. I thought this was a drop shipment, but it's a recycled Amazon box. Smart. I like that. It's a very smart thing to do. We also have Cheeto. Has, uh, it says, Cheeto seal of approval with all these little, little bites here. Um, and then... Uh, by the way, there's an Ari kind of lurking there. Uh, he might end up over the top there any minute. We'll find out. He's looking. Now, the trouble with Ari coming over here, of course, is that he hisses at kittens and new cats. That's what he does. And uh, it is just a way of communicating. So he's not angry at them. He just wants them to stay their distance. And generally, that's how mom cats do, too. They just want everybody to keep their distance. So he's probably okay. Uh, but not usually the best for the first introduction because he, he just wants everybody to stay away from him and he'll tell them that. Uh, so we'll see how this goes. Uh, I see it says tiny townies endowments with this really cute little uh, Cleveland uh, cowboy sticker on it. There we go. And just like always, you have sent uh, a laser pointer for every kitten and it's got their little kitten picture on it too. This one's for Lodge and there's one for Yurt and River uh, and the rest. <laughs> It's very cute. Lisa G, thank you so much. Uh, and you also sent this note with this cute little kitty sleeping on and some blankets. And it says, hello, Kitten Academy. Cheeto and Means were adamant that I send the new students one of their own favorite toys as an endowment. They also wanted me to say they hope all the townies do well with their kitten classes, like advanced biscuit making, intro to purring, and how to train your human Thanks for all you do for these lucky cats and kittens, Lisa G, Beans, and Cheeto. Thank you so much, Lisa G. It's very sweet of you. You send these uh, same laser pointers with the little pictures for uh, every class, and I'm sure they all appreciate them greatly. We rarely get out laser pointers here to play with at the Academy, even though I'm always telling myself I should. I've got them stashed all over, and it's just never the, the toy of choice for me for some reason, even though a lot of cats love them. And... In fact, just yesterday I was in the um, I was in the annex and my phone accidentally caught the sun and made a reflection on the wall and Scotty was on it. Like she thought that was the coolest thing and she wanted to catch it. Uh, I bet Scotty would love a laser pointer. And I got all these kids would too. I think laser pointers are a big hit. They're a great toy for cats. Uh, just for, for whatever reason. I guess uh, not one of the ones that we tend to go to. And in a way, I think that's good because then um, it can be a fresh experience for the cat and their adopter to explore together, right? That, that can be a fun one too. Uh, cats just love novelty. All right. This comes from Kawhi Lil Panda. Um, and, oh, it's got some cool stuff in it, but I'm looking for a note, so hang on here. Hang on one second. Let's see what we got for notes. It says Basset for Basset. Uh, that's too cute. Is This one is a beanie baby, a little Basset hound beanie baby for Basset. Uh, and then we have dental toys for when the new babies start teething and some extra for the tiny townies to be distributed as you see fit. From Kawaii Lil Panda. Oh, thank you, Kawaii Lil Panda. Well, these are toss and flip chips which are another toy that I have never seen before. They are shaped like uh, like Pringles, you know, that sort of like um, saddle shape uh, of uh, that, that is supposed to be stable. There's four of them in a pack, and they have this cute little texture to it, too, and it says they're catnip infused to encourage healthy chewing. Uh, and Ari is currently climbing over the fence. He's just about to come over the other side, so we're just going to see what happens, but I'm going to be ready to jump up if we need to. Because at this point, uh, his, his arrival is, whoops, what did I do? There we go. Let's see. I don't know if that's working. He's, uh... Oh, and there's River right under him. Maybe that's why he's not coming over all the way. You can't decide how to get down with her right there. This is very precarious, buddy. Okay, hang on. Uh, like I was about to say, though, these are uh, chew toys or something that we probably could have used. Uh, like this sort of thing would have been great for, for cats that also just like to chew, um, like uh, like Tom. So uh, that could be really good. Also, uh, um, uh, another cat that likes to chew a lot is Mural. 
Hi, River. Can I can I pet you while Ari's doing whatever he's he's doing? That's probably ill advised. There we go. Yeah. What's up, buddy? You got yourself into this situation, pal. I think you're going to have to work it out, too. Okay, okay. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I got you, man. I just have to help you out. He got his leg hooked around there, I thought, in a funny way. That'd be fine. Okay. Well, I should flip back to the overhead camera now, um, but as soon as he starts hissing at these kittens, likely to do immediately. Here it comes. Here it comes. He's going to go intentionally sniff the kitten and then he's going to yell about it. Sniffing. Yes, there's the sniff. And? Oh, a nose sniff? Okay. More sniff, 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 sniff. Where's the hissing, buddy? No hisses today? Are you turning over a new leaf? Becoming a friend of kittens? That's good, because I, I, I don't really know exactly how River is going to respond if an adult cat hisses at one of her kittens uh, or scares one of her kittens. Uh, that could be something that could set her off. But uh, he's, doing, he's doing good right now. You like that? Also, it's a good opportunity for me to get up and stretch out for just a second during mailbag, isn't it? All right, well, where'd River go? If I can find River. Where did she go? Oh, you're in the tunnel? River, are you playing? Hmm. River seems like she might be being playful with her kittens in the tunnel. And uh, all the rest of the kittens are very interested in Ari. All right, buddy. All right, buddy, come here. Come with me. You can sit over here with me for just one second. But we're gonna put you back over the fence. All right, we're gonna put you back over the fence. I'm just gonna let you want to try one of these treats first. Do you? What do you think? Ari's very. He can be picky about his treats. Like he likes the the dreamies, the cheese dreamies, quite a bit. And after that, hit or miss. Looks like he's not into the salmon stuff. Buddy, all right. I don't think you need to go in there, though, do you? So, uh, yeah, the teething chips. Uh, so the other thing I was going to say about these, of course, is that uh, the kittens upstairs are going to get their teeth coming in about two weeks, uh, and they won't, they'll be way too small for something like this. Uh, but then all the kittens, of course, get their, their replacement teeth, their adult teeth, come in at about six months after graduation. So these will make really great endowment gifts for them. Uh, so I'm going to put those right over here. I, I don't know what I'm, I'm going to have to sort all this stuff after mailbag. It's going to be a lot. Meanwhile, he, Ari's being very calm and, and surprisingly unhissy. I, I, again, Ari has a, a long record of immediately hissing at every kitten he meets. So this is a little surprising, um, but good. And the kittens seem to be playing and having fun right in front of him, although some of them are, are cautiously checking him out. So this is a good experience all around right now. Let's just hope it stays that way while we continue on. Uh-oh. Okay, now it's going to go out of the corner. As long as it doesn't go in the room. Ari, do you want to leave? Now, this is when I can't see what's going on. That's when you have a problem. All right, buddy. Let me help you back, okay? Literally out. Let me help you literally out. You got it over your head. Got this expression on his face that was like, I, I didn't expect quite so many kittens and things. So I think he wanted to go back over, actually. All right, wow, we still got a lot of stuff to get through, and it is 11.27. Well, uh, even though we did start a little late, uh, I do think we should cut this off at noon. So let's see how much we can get through in half an hour. Uh, let's call it a lightning round, all right? And I hate to do like a real full-on lightning round because... I, I really do appreciate everything everybody sends, and I, I, it's very important to me that you know that, 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 I, that I can
convey that feeling to you. And I feel like, you know, a real sort of like, let's go as fast as we can, doesn't, doesn't really convey that respect um, properly. But that doesn't mean uh, that we can't take a minute to try to sort of keep things going, right? So let's do that. All right, this says, Happy New Year, Kid Academy. Please use as you see fit, hashtag Betty White Challenge from Magnolia97. That's Ari. Ari wants some attention, but he doesn't want to have to get it in here where the kittens are. So don't worry, we'll, we'll take care of him. He's just, he's never been pet in his entire life, as you can clearly hear. Uh, okay, so this is Fancy Feast um, uh, chicken flavor. Uh, it's actually, I was a little thrown because the Amazon thing says Fancy Feast grain-free pate wet cat food chicken feast. Uh, the words grain-free aren't usually in there, even though it is grain-free. Uh, the, the, I've never seen it advertised that way. Um, so they're picking up on that, which is not too bad. Uh, but this is exactly the same food that we feed to everybody. Chicken feast, classic pate. And unlike some of the very expensive foods that you might feed your kittens, this one uh, is legitimately grain-free. It's not like grain-free, uh, but we did put in potatoes and flaxseed, which are technically not grains. So uh, otherwise, though, everything you'd be concerned about eating in a grain, they are. So it's weird to say grain-free, like a technically correct the best kind of correct. Um, yeah, okay. Anyway, this one doesn't have any of that stuff in it. Uh, although you might make the argument it does have some things in it that are difficult to pronounce and you'd want to hunt those down, and that's fine. Um, but at least they're a little more, uh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm looking for. Let's keep going. What did I say about keeping rolling? Yes, uh, jungle collapsible play condo whoa this is a pop-up it's two pop-up cubes and a pop-up tunnel and all of them have a jungle theme with tigers and lions and monkeys uh, i see so this is the whole thing uh, and they've labeled this the tiger hut playhouse and on this side we have the lion play cube and then in between we have the safari, the safari tunnel and they're three separate parts so we could deploy them separately or put them all together like this this is super cool. I've seen the cube before. We've had this cube before. Great pop-up cube uh, with a funny little face on it. Uh, but I didn't know that they had a whole set. The Jungle Collapsible Play Condo Kitty City Jungle. Uh, I should have looked for a note. The note says, enjoy your gift. Send home with one kitten or cat or break it up and send it home with three as you see fit from Jackie. Jackie, that's so sweet of you to send this uh, and to intend it to be for endowments is even sweeter because uh, this this is pretty cool. And um, uh, if, we, if we had like something that we could do with the green color scheme, I would want this to be deployed. Um, you know, maybe at some future time. So uh, so that's, that's going to be great for the adopters of one, two, three lucky kittens. <laughs> Thank you very much for that. All right, this uh, has a name in the return address, which we like if you send you know, a package and you send it basically to your own name, care of Kitten Academy with the rest of our address. And it's very easy for me to read mailbag to look at the outside of the box and see this is from Courtney in Canada. Courtney in Canada. Uh, and on the inside, we have a gift bag. Ooh, keep your gift a surprise. The gift bag says, Dear Mr. A, safe to read on stream. Oop, ack, I'm Teddy Rick from Bill the Cat. Okay, Teddy Rick, I see. Is this like a, a okay, hang on though. Let's let's get in here. Let's see what it is. That note is uh, mysterious, okay. Oh, oh, well that's exactly what it is though. I was gonna say like like Pickle Rick, uh, except no, it's, it is, it's Teddy, Teddy Rick. Uh, and it is Rick from Rick and Morty. Uh, and this is, there we go. All right, <laughs> there you have it. That's exactly what it is. And um, I don't know why it is, but I think it fits the space theme well enough for me. And I like that. So that would be cute to deploy around for the kittens. Uh, and, and it is labeled Rick and Morty Galactic Plushies. So uh, that's cool. It's a Funko Pop product. Who knew? I didn't know Funko really did anything besides the little plastic uh, things with the big heads, right? 
but now that you look at it, you can be like, yeah, it's got a style, I guess. Uh, that's super cool. I love Rick and Morty. Um, I don't, uh, I don't feel like I must be caught up on it entirely though. What are we on season five finally? You know, when when they take such long breaks between seasons, you can kind of lose track of things. Uh, but then it's all the more fun when you come back to it. You got so much catching up to do, right? Uh, anyway, this is super cool, and uh, I think it does fit the theme. And it would be fun to put in some catnip when we put it in the mix, wouldn't it? Um, or I could just put it on my desk. Who knows? Uh, there is something else in here too, which is packed up in one of these vacuum bags that apparently is unvacuumed. Oh no, it's been ruptured. Uh, and it is some kind of a pet bed. Uh, oh, it's a, it's a simple, basic uh, gray pet bed. It's one of those that you can use like this to use it as a like a bed they sit in, or you can pop it up. And have a oh, it does sort of resemble our space station thing uh, for a uh, wow. There's some character this reminds me of. I want to say from uh, Masters of the Universe. Is this somebody's head? Uh, who is the guy that hit things with his head? Right? Is that what I'm thinking of? Why does this look so much like his head? Uh, something anyway. It's bringing something to mind, and I can't quite place it. I need more coffee. Uh, it's really, it's nicely made though. It's got a great material. It's got a great color. And uh, I like the fact that it's got two functions plus a toy. Uh, it seems solid too, like it would really last a while. So uh, thank you for that. And uh, I don't think you left any note about it. It's not one that I see. So for now, we're just going to put it over here into the uh, use as we see fit pile, which we certainly will. And thank you very, very much. Uh, it's Courtney in Canada, right? in Canada, indeed. Thank you so much. I love the little Rick and Morty thing. Uh, yeah, uh, you know where to reach me if you want to let me know uh, some specific purpose to which to put those items. Otherwise, uh, yes, we will use as we see fit. Little Bassett down for Bassett. Uh, it's right there. Uh, ooh, what is this giant, giant box? Oh my goodness, it's so big. All right. Let's, uh, on the outside it says, oh, it says it's from Pat M.M. Interesting. Pat M.M. is like the human encyclopedia of Kitten Academy. Which I guess there's a few people with that title, but Pat's recall is just super. Uh, let's see here. Wow, what on earth? This is a very interesting cat tree. Uh, it says, Aw, just sending early spring wishes to the Academy from Trouble and Carrie. And it does, this looks like something would be perfect to display uh, for springtime. Uh, it appears to be a mushroom and butterfly and flower uh that are, uh, they have little butterflies like flying around them and then the whole thing is a cat tree. Let me show you the picture because I think that's as good as we're gonna be able to do. If I can slide it out of here. This is the classic Amazon box in a box. Kind of rare actually because normally for this kind of thing we would just take a box from them. They don't normally go box in a box for this sort of thing. Oh, look, there you have it. And the picture of it, oh, right there. Can you see that? can probably so uh wow pat mm you've sent us some really unique and interesting cat beds over time and this one might take the cake i can't wait to see what the, the sort of colors of it are and exactly what it looks like the illustration makes it really uh fun i'm gonna i'm gonna the anticipation of getting the opportunity to deploy this is going to be uh very enjoyable so thank you for that and uh, if anybody wants to try and look it up and see a picture of what it looks like in advance, it does say Catry, C-A-T-R-Y, Catry is the brand. And I think you can all read the item number on the bottom there if you can't read the top. The item number CT200436 from C-A-T-R-Y, uh, Cat. I assume it's pronounced Catry, uh, but it's spelled sort of like Cat Try. Uh, I guess you can go either way on that side. Uh, Pat, M.M., uh, that's, that's 
that's far too generous of you also, by the way, uh, which just needs to be said, but I'm sure you already know that. Okay, how are we on time? Oh, wow, it's only been seven minutes. All right, we might actually make it through if I can keep us going at this pace. Uh, we did sort of front load uh, all the stuff that was sort of individually wrapped, and the rest is all drop shipments, except I see it looks like we missed one in there, maybe. Uh, Dragon Lady. Dragon Lady. Okay, Dragon Lady has sent us ooh, some more uh, cardboard sort of scratcher mats. It does say Magic Moon and Stars. Oh, it is sort of a night sky space theme. Uh, I do like um, I do like the the like sun and stars. Um, you know the the ones that I don't know what you call, there's got to be a real particular name for it, but you think of it as um, the the sun with the face and the moon with the face, but the ones that you see in like classic uh, art um, is like a, it's just, it's really appealing to me. And I think it's really cool. Um, anyway, uh, so this, this has a sort of a feel of in between uh, the two of them. And I think it's perfect for a space team, but I also think it's perfect for endowments or whatever the, the kittens might uh, uh, sort of determine by their personalities, like what we're going to do. Uh, what they might appreciate. So thank you so much for these. These are really, these are great scratchers too. And I've, I'm always telling people just a plain, like this, like a cardboard scratcher, even just a plain flat one, but the, the wavy makes it even more entertaining. You can always add a little something, but uh, even just a plain flat one, you throw it down, like, especially at like entrance and exit to a room and your cat will use that as a place to mark. Uh, I, I guess they're sort of marking their control of the room or something. I don't know what they're trying to say, uh, but they, they seem to really enjoy it, is the point. So, all right. Uh, on top of that, or I guess I should say more accurately, under that, you have included a whole bunch of this awesome set of wand, uh, replacement wand toys, which is a weird thing to send without a wand, uh, except, of course, we have plenty of wands. And, of course, this particular set of wand toys turns out to be one of the favorite sets of toys uh, with or without the wand. Um, because it includes uh, like a half a dozen of these big real fur red and white mice with a rattle in them. These are an amazing toy. And uh, the price on these is ridiculously nice uh, for what you get, I mean. And then uh, the other half of it, of course, are these little wiggly worms like the ones that Loganberry is crazy for and will just play with all day long. So it's a great set of toys. And you sent us a whole bunch of those. And uh, we do go through a fair amount of these, although we go through a lot fewer of them now that Mural's gone. She's the one that just crushed those things. <laughs> there's, there's something inside that box just fell down spontaneously. All right. Um, all right. Uh, these, are, these, are, these are great. Thank you so much for these. These will be great for endowments if we have uh, uh, too many for ourselves to use. Uh, so I'm just going to put those over there for now and put this back here for now. Maybe. If I can, I can see we've got all, I love the fact that these kittens are staying out here and being curious about what's going on, even though it's a lot of noise and activity. Like, this is very, very good uh, immersion therapy for them, or maybe just uh, practice, whatever. So, happy about that. Okay, this says, oh, Courtney in Canada. Once again, Courtney in Canada. All right, thank you in advance, Courtney. From our hands to yours, a bit of tissue. Oh, hey! Uh, <laughs> this is funny. Um, I love this. So, uh, first off, well, okay, so first off, the note says, Amsha, dear Mr. A, you might recall I said a tiny, oh heck, almost miniature version of this basket long ago. And still has that Mars Rover parachute vibe in the design, too. Uh, you got your uh, little smiley face with a tongue stuck out from Courtney in Canada. Courtney, first off, uh, here's the basket that you sent. This, this is, uh, I can see the same design as the little basket that you sent. The one that you sent wasn't that miniature. It was probably, you know, sort of half this size, I guess a quarter of the area-ish. You know what I'm saying. Um, uh, and I love it. I just, I love that basket so much. And I keep bringing it out to try to use it in like a photo shoot or something, and it just it just hasn't quite made it into the shot. Uh, I've even taken some pictures with it. I'm, I'm crazy about it. And I love the fact that, I mean, you compare it to the parachute, which is an accurate uh, comparison. 
because it really does look like this pattern is set up like a like a rotary encoder, like a like a like it is encoding some sort of information to be taken in by an optical scanner. Uh, it, it really looks like that. So it's even more fun in that it's got this sort of combination of being uh, like a primitive woven basket. Uh, and I use I use primitive there, you know, in comparison to you know a rotary encoder because it's a very quality basket. Um, and then also like this design that's so like binary and uh, and uh, modern and uh, and wonderful. So I'm crazy about it. And now I've got a set because I know that bowl is in my office. It's, I just moved offices, so there's nothing in my office right now that's not there for like you know because I deliberately put it there in the last two weeks. <laughs> and uh, that little bowl is in there right now. I've been looking at it every day, and I just I, I love it. I love it so much. I don't know why it feels to me so much. So now. We have a set, and maybe eventually I'll find the right photo to take of it with kittens in and around it, or uh, with one this size, maybe just leave it in the room and let the kittens play with it for a while. Um, so I, I hate for them to ruin it, but I do think that this is exactly the kind of bowl that they would love to sit in. I do see also there's uh, there's one there's one home thread here on the bottom, and I don't want that to turn into a problem. Oh, you know what? I bet that's not. I bet this is to hang it as a decoration, isn't it? I bet that's exactly what it's for. I bet this is deliberate so you can hang it up. And uh, let's see if it's tied off that I know it is, right? That's exactly what it is, actually. It seems like it's a separate thing that's sort of tied off on there as a hanger. So that's a, that's a very nice detail. It's so well done that uh, I thought it was just pulled out. So it's perfect. Uh, I still might want to do something about that so the kittens don't pull at it too much, though. Anyway, that's, that's so beautiful. Courtney in Canada, thank you so much for that and for the previous one. It's amshastudio.com is where that's from if you were curious. And it appears they have a Twitter at, or I don't know, Twitter or something, at Amsha Studio, A-M-S-H-A Studio. So uh, I, I love that bowl. I love the old one uh, so much. And uh, I'm sorry that you haven't seen it around. Uh, and you know what? It is too small to just like leave out for kittens because by the time kittens are big enough to find it and sit in it, uh, then they're, they're too big to sit in it. But yeah, so this one will be better for that. You're right about that. Okay. Wow. It's lovely though. And I, it's, it's blue. It fits in the room perfectly. I'm going to leave this out and we are going to put it in the room correctly. So uh, yeah, that's, it's, it's lovely. Thank you so much. Courtney in Canada. All right. Um, okay. <clears throat> okay, this is from Michelle J. I opened that just right. Oh, wow. Uh, what are these? This says, this toy was handmade just for you, and the way it's wrapped, though, is what's so interesting. I might have to finally start up the close-up camera so you can see this, just the way it's wrapped. But let's see what this says. This says... Mm, all right, uh, they start right in with, thank you for your order. Please post a review with photos of your cats playing with their toys. All right, I mean, I know that's what you want me to do. I, that makes sense. It's a fair thing to ask, I guess. Um, all right, there is also a 10% off coupon here if you want to order whatever this turns out to be, which it says is an original, all original, scratch, jingle, and roll, ultimate cat kicker toy with catnip, silvervine, and valerian root. Whoa. And it is from Hoffin Pet, Hoffin Paw Pet Toys, H-O-F-F-N-P-A-W-P-E-T-T-O-Y-S. That is a mouthful. All right. Um, let's see here if I can do... So I just wanted you to see the way these are wrapped up. Look at that. It's got all these little cat faces on it. It says, thank you. This is apparently medium denim, handmade just for us. There's their name. There you go. And, uh, oh, happy holidays. Isn't that adorable? All right. I can't unwrap this and show you this at the same time. But I just thought that was super cute. I'm guessing because there are two of these that they were either sent for B and B or uh, 
they were sent for um, uh, uh, Scotty and River. And I guess uh, you can easily let me know which one is the case. If, uh, if you need a moment, see what it is. Oh, oh wow, there is a, um, I see now this is a bag, and the bag on the back has a diagram that is a cutaway illustration of what the cat toy has inside. Uh, how cool is that? Wow, it is, it's like shedding catnip and stuff. This is going to be a big hit, but look at this illustration on their thing. This is so cool. So here's your, here's your coupon code if you decide to get one for you or your cat, that's fine. I don't know if it's any good or if the cats would like it yet, so don't take this as an endorsement. But uh, here's what I really think is cool. I have always loved cutaway diagrams of like anything. Uh, and then having one here of the cat toy that's like, here's what it is on the inside. Here's the outside, see? Just like that. So it's got a little chamber on the one end with a bell. Uh, and then in the middle, it's got catnip, silver iron, and valerian in separate chambers in a cardboard tube or something. Anyway, very cute, uh, very cool. Um, I don't actually see why they call it denim, but I guess that's just a name for their pattern. Uh, and look at those wooden ends and stuff. Like, this is very nice, actually. It's, it's very nicely made. Uh, I guess it will remain a question whether or not the cats are going to care for it at all. But let me know uh, who it was for. And we will try to subject them to it and find out, because I'd like to know. Uh, it does seem very nice. So for now, I'm going to package these right back up. Can I get them back in here, too? Uh, it hardly seems necessary, but there we go. All right. Good. OK. How are we doing? How are we doing? All right. OK. There's still a chance. I'm saying there's a chance we can get through this. If I stay focused, all right, and nobody sends anything too awesome or complicated, so just just make sure everything else that's in this pile is not awesome, all right? I you blew it, all right. Whatever. Uh, here we have a hammock, and it is uh, reversible, but it's got this really cool pattern on it. Can you see this? Oh, it's got two really cool patterns on it. You can't see them. This one's got like these sort of Japanese cat heads with little Japanese prints in them. Uh, and then this side has like a gray grid. And it is, it's a cat hammock to put into the cat cage as we do. Uh, and the, the hammock we have in there, I don't know where I found it. It's been in our closet forever. I think it's one that we used to use. It turned out to be very small. So I should probably replace it sooner rather than later. This blue does suit the theme pretty well. Okay, I'm going to put it right here on the bowl. I think, I think maybe we need to do that. But meanwhile, it says provisions for the furry teddy bears river in the tiny townies and the other sweethearts from architect cat architect cat thank you so much that that is uh perhaps the perfect hammock to replace the uh really um inadequate one that's in there right now and of course fancy feast classic pate chicken uh enough said about that we've been over it already in this mailbag so thank you very much for the perfect stuff go and uh it is it is just wonderful to drop ship stuff to us but now i just have to imagine your handwriting architect cat uh which i can do how strange is that, that that i can picture what your handwriting looks like um and you know never having met you or or not even being entirely sure if you are a person or a cat or an architect or some combination of the three that was like created in a laboratory accident um who knows? So, uh, this says, Mr. A and Dr. DJ, blankets and a small kitten bed for the annex. The partially mesh Kirby tunnel with multiple entrances and rocket tower for the main kitten room or living room. So excited for the space theme. Love KA and Discord community from Great Lakes Marine. Well, I don't think all of those things are in this package. This says it is a pet bed, cave nest, sleeping bed, tree shape, puppy house for cats and small dogs, stump, holly, pet, cozy. Um, I mean, those, those are words. Those are definitely words. 
So let's take a look and see what we've got in here from Great Lakes Marie. By the way, I am also crazy about the space theme, and everybody's so crazy about it. It's such a great idea. I think, I don't know, at the very least, we'll have to bring it back uh, so that we can use all this stuff. Uh, if not, just like keep it rolling, you know? We'll see. Well, I, I, now I understand the word stump, at least. It does kind of look like a tree stump. Also, I am stumped, so it works both ways. Uh, it looks like it must be one of those same beds that maybe can be, no, not really. No, we're just going to have to pop it up. Oh, there we go. All right, now we know. It is a tree stump with some cute little green leaves on it, and uh, it's got a fun shape, too. I mean, it's got an inside that looks like somebody fried an egg in here. I don't know, bright yellow. I don't know what's going on in there. Uh, it's uh, it's very, very cute, and it actually stands up a lot better than most of these tall ones do. A lot of them I've had to shore up with some extra support. It's just got a real, like, funny uh, shape to it. It sort of looks like a, like a, I don't know, like a ghost. Like it's got its arms up and it's yelling, doesn't it? I don't know how well you can see that. Um, anyway, it's, uh, it's really cute, and I think that they're going to like it, and we'll just have to find the right place to put it. I also feel like I don't know what's going on. Uh, this clearly, you know, doesn't, it's not space theme, but it is spring theme, and it seems like it would go really well next to that thing that Pat sent, doesn't it? I don't know if you guys planned that or just coincidence, uh, but that might work out too at some point. So thank you very much. And uh, I don't know exactly what to do with that at the moment. We'll just slide it over there and keep rolling. Because that's important. Now, this says it is from someone named Courtney in Canada. I'm not sure we've gotten anything from them before. Uh, oh, but this box is nearly empty. And oh, this is a great photo, though, something I was curious about. So that's perfect. Um, we saw what I'm almost certain must have been the same design of bed, but it came to us in a cardboard box without a real good illustration, and I couldn't take it open and look at it. But I bet it was exactly like this one because the drawing looked exactly like this one. I hope you can make it out. Uh, it's got like a like a hammock bed in the middle that's made of mesh. It's like a like a complicated fancy version of the the beds you might remember that Pat sent several of, and that we endowed several of, and that were a big hit. Uh, but this one, sort of like an upgraded, more complex version of that with a, with a nice design. Uh, it's, uh, it's just a little more complicated and built up. And it's also got these toys with, on springs that stick out of the top. Uh, so that's really fun. Uh, and you say, uh, dear Mr. A, um, this alien-looking bed might bring serenity and deep space cuddles. We hope this bed is shiny and not problematic from Bill the Cat and Courtney in Canada. I love how you worked so many Firefly references into that note. That is very clever and did not uh, was not lost on me. Uh, although putting serenity in quotes uh, definitely, you know, uh, alerted me to the fact that something was up. If you hadn't done that, I hope I still would have caught on. Uh, anyway, this does look like a really cool, like futuristic, spacey uh, pet bed, and uh, I'm excited to try it out. So we will get this deployed uh, in due time. Uh, we've got a lot of shuffling to do, and again, the space theme is is kind of getting away from us here. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, it's big. Space is big, really big. I mean, you might think it's a long way down the road to the chemist, but uh, that's just peanuts compared to space. So, oh, you guys, oh, you guys, I just moved that box and uncovered something, and I need my phone camera now. Now, you guys got to see this. Uh, and my leg is cramping, and so everything is good. All right. Because they were just kind of snuggling and wrestling in here. And now they're just a little bit aware of me watching, aren't they? Which ones are you? I can't even tell. Is it got a boy and a girl? I think this is um, uh, Chalet. And this must be Will and No, this is yours. And they're nice to next to you, Paula, but I'm going to stick with Chalet. 
We have to keep this going. There's only there's only four more boxes. We're just gonna we're just gonna get through it. Okay, we're gonna go. We're gonna do it. Okay, let's do it. YouTube, that's too much. It's too much. I counted one too much. Okay. Okay. Well, this one is, uh, uh, says anyway, on the outside, it's covered with stuff that says Salt Table, Georgia Grown. Salt Table. Okay. We've got a few things in the academy that are Georgia grown. I'm not just talking about pecans. Oh, wow. Salt table. There's a picture of it here. It says, Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, thank you from the bottom of our hearts for everything. I just heard something upstairs. It was like a little... You know, you have cats, you hear things getting knocked over sometimes, you're worried you got to respond. I think they're going to be okay. Uh, let me start over. Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, thank you from the bottom of our hearts for everything. Buttons wanted to send y'all just a little taste of her home state in appreciation of her time at the Academy. Happy snacking from John, Barbie, and Buttons. And it also says, okay to read and or munch on stream. Wow. All right. Salt table. Hmm. Very cool. Well, let's see. Oh, wow. This is a bunch of stuff according to the packing list. There's a whole bunch of things in here. But let's, uh, unfortunately, I, I want to wrap up mailbag. So instead of giving us all the time it deserves, thank you so much, Buttons. Uh, let's do, though, let's do some real quick together what she sent. And, uh, oh, it doesn't help that I am starving right now. I'm going to want to eat every last bit of this. Uh, right now, I mean. But I'm going to try to hold off at least a little bit later in the day, all right? Uh, so this is some kind of a peanut chocolate cluster. That's exactly what it is. It is a chocolate peanut cluster. Oh, man. This is saltwater taffy made the old-fashioned way in Savannah, Georgia. And it's actually Fancy Savannah brand. Fancy Savannah brand. I like that. I also, I do like saltwater taffy. It can be very nice. Uh, barbecue seasoning from the salt table. All right. Uh, Southern cinnamon pecans. Oh, man, I love these things. And I know DJ does too. I don't think she would admit it. I don't think she would even recognize the fact that she loves them. But then if I get them out and give her one, she's going to be like, oh, these are so good. This is all around good grinder blend with the reusable blind, uh, grinder. Blinder? Blinder blend? Blinder blend? It is a blinder blend. Uh, oh, wow. This looks just like Maruku. Uh, it says cheddar cheese straws, though, so those will be good. That's got to be like those, uh, what do you call the moon things? Moon cheese? That is, uh, it's basically like a uh, it's cheese that's been uh, like a twill. You know, it's like crunchy and it's got all the oil cooked out of it. Um, yeah, anyway, I like that. Moon, moon cheese, right? Moon cheese, those are the things, the snacks. I, it's pretty new to me, honestly. Uh, but I've seen them a few times. All right. This is extra wrapped, so who knows what... Oh, wow, fancy olive oil. Roasted garlic and rosemary. Signature blend. Wow, that's pretty. It's pretty bottled. Okay. A uh, little more, but we got to keep it rolling. We have Tybee Island Coastal Seasoning Blend. All right. I don't even know what Tybee Island is. Smoked bacon sea salt with shaker top. Whoa. It's just, I, oh. No, it's got a protective seal in it, so I can't smell it. We'll get back to that. Uh, <laughs> uh, ooh, Savannah pecan, uh, roasted pecan flavored coffee. That's a new one. I, I'm excited to try that. Um, Something else. Tightly wrapped. Oh, it is fancy Savannah brand Georgia peach preserves. Oh, yum. Uh, may contain pits. Well, that's how you know it's real. You know it's legit. 
All right, I think that's the bottom of it. The rest is packing material. Wow, Buttons, thank you so much, Buttons. And uh, as you know, we have a few things we have to mail to you, which I'm sure we will get to you prior to the heat death of the universe, uh, 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 almost certainly. So uh, thank you. Thank you so much, Buttons, and thank you to uh, to your adopter for just being such a wonderful person. I just I can't I can't get into it right now as much as I would like to, but I have gotten into it before. I think all of you know um, just how wonderful it is uh, to to see Buttons come and go so quickly to someone that is uh, such a wonderful adopter for a great fit and just happy life. All right, we just got a few more boxes, guys. So let's, uh, let's power through, regardless of what time it might be. I'm not even going to look. I'm not even going to look. We're just going to we're just going to wrap it up, okay? This is a Dragon Lady package here. Dragon Lady. Dragon Lady uh, 71. It should be said. Maybe 71 isn't as much a year as it is uh, like the number of Dragon Ladies. I didn't think of that before. Uh, or maybe the number of that Dragon Lady in the Dragon Lady clan. Oh, yeah. See, now we've got a whole mythos coming up behind this. Uh, this is a box of the Cat It Senses uh, replacement balls for the track, uh, which for a hot minute were hard to find. And I think it's because they are all in this box. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight, nine of those, uh, which is awesome. Uh, we, you know, we, we go through these uh, and lose them, or the batteries die, or they just get worn out uh, on a fairly regular basis, but they're also great to endow along with the track if somebody's getting one of the tracks. And they do work better than a ping pong ball because they've got more weight to them uh, and more inertia, so they're a lot more fun in the track. It's like the Jackson Galaxy's uh, uh, space station that's behind me has a ball that it comes with that's like extra heavy and it works so much better than like a ping pong ball even though in a pinch you can put a ping pong ball in there and that's still fun for the kids so these are great thank you so much for the cat it senses balls and look at this uh two more wavy scratchers but these have a s'mores uh theme for uh, no reason that i could possibly discern but they do have uh, graham crackers, marshmallows, chocolate, and all put together into s'mores uh, on the side. So that's super cute. And we'll stack nicely. No, no, I think they've got a tighter curve. Yes, they do. They're shorter with a tighter curve than the others. Look at that. Oh, that's just interesting. They're even both Frisco brand. So they're both, you know, Frisco. They're both, uh, what is Frisco? Is the, uh, isn't that the Target brand? No, it's Chewy's. It's somebody's store brand. Uh, and uh, we're going to say Chewy's store brand then. Uh, anyway, it's just interesting that they're the same, you know, like brand. Uh, you'd expect them to be the exact same design, it's just two different prints, but not quite. Interesting difference. Okay, there we go. All right, Dragon Lady, thank you so much uh, for all the Cat It Senses balls and all the scratchers and all the things that just are going to be fantastic. Uh, whether we use them here, whether we endow them to go home with the adopted kittens, you know that the people that adopt these kittens are spoiled, you know, just like the kittens. It's great. It's great. Uh, everybody's spoiled all the way up. That's what we like. This is also from Dragon Lady. And uh, if it said anything beyond just the model number on the outside, we might not have to even open it to know what was inside. But it doesn't. So some of you that are quick Googlers may already know what this is, um, but we're, I am going to have to open it to find out. Uh, all I know is that it is from, also from Dragon Lady. Oh, I see. I actually recognize, uh, no, I don't, I don't, I don't. I was going to say I recognize this because you sent one before. It's the thing I sent with my Space Man Strip glasses, uh, but it's similar. And uh, I don't think I've seen this exact design, though. And it's like a miniature version of the Infinity Scratcher. Uh, the Infinity Scratcher, I'd say, about twice this size, roughly twice this size. Um, but this is great for kittens. It's a perfect size for them to play in and around and crawl in and out of 
And I, I really, actually, I would like to put this in that room right now, except we're already a little tight on space in there. So I've really got to think everything out as uh, how, how we're going to de deploy uh, things. Yet uh, this would be a perfect scratcher, like the same way we use the Infinity Scratchers. It's just a really nicely sized Infinity Scratcher style thing. I don't know what you call it. Uh, but it seems just as sturdy and uh, well built and uh, just just much smaller, which sometimes can be a real benefit to us. Those infinity scratchers are a, a fun size, uh, but I think they're about as big as you would want something to be. So it's uh, it's great to have these options, and uh, this could be a lot of fun. And, uh, and like I said, I, I would I would even deploy it right this second if I knew how uh, where uh, to put everything. Maybe we'll get to it in a little bit. So thank you for that, uh, Dragon Lady. Another, wow, very useful and, and wonderful, generous gift uh, for the kittens. I just, so generous. Thank you very, very much. That brings us to what I think, I think this is the last box. I don't see anything else here that I might have missed. And if something is like buried back here, we'll find it. Uh, but here we go. We made it through, and then after that, I gotta show you those little kittens in the princess bed that have now fallen asleep, held up together, despite all the noise and disruption I'm making. So we'll show you that. Uh, oh, oh, now this is super cool too. Uh, it's Pet Craft Supply Company brand, Space House, it says. It's called Space House Cardboard Cat House, um, which is a cardboard space house, but uh, really what they mean, it's more of a, like the, the uh, lunar lander uh, uh, capsule, the, uh, what do you call the capsule on the top of the, the rocket, really. It's such a tiny, tiny picture here. Let me get out my camera so I can show you the kids, and I'll show you this too, all right? Hang on one sec, though. This says, deploy as you wish from Maple and Hickory. Wow, Maple and Hickory, thank you guys so much. Uh, I feel like it's been a minute since we've heard from you guys, so that's pretty nice. Two, uh, that goes all the way back to Maggie's class. Yes. All right. Um, hang on. So here's what this is looking like, going to look like, I suppose. Isn't that cute? It does look just like the little uh, pod. Um, uh, I don't know why my brain's not working. You know why. Wanting to say lunar lander module, but of course that's not what I'm thinking of. I was just thinking of the little uh, three man uh, where they're all crammed in uh, uh, the return capsule. That's what I'm thinking of. Yes, that's what uh, that's what I might call it. Anyway, uh, anyway, that's enough of that. Uh, here's what I promised these good kittens to do. I'm that one standing in the corner being very Blair Witch. Okay, a little less creepy. I'm sorry, that wasn't his. I was trying to tell everybody to be quiet so you wouldn't wake up. No stress, back to sleep. This kid sure likes to snuggle up in a little cube or a little pod. Oh, oh no, somebody's at the door. Ah! Let me in! What is this, Ellie? Yes? Can we help you? Where's the room? No, no, wrong side. You guys come over here. All right, we'll figure it out. All right, well, we're seeing this. Uh, let me say. Thank you guys so much for everything. I just can't believe how amazingly generous everyone is and how amazingly well set up these kittens are for the start of their, their lives and, and so much fun and novelty and stuff for them to play with and things to see and do and for their adopters to enjoy and appreciate and just to, to know how much that the everybody uh, you know loves their little kittens and appreciates them and uh, for, for taking on that responsibility of caring for that same kitten for so long. 
I, I do think that's a part of the appreciation for new bouncers is that there's a lot of responsibility to take on. You know, you're looking at like 20 years uh, to adopt a kid uh, conservatively, you know, hopefully even more. So uh, that is a big commitment. And I think uh, taking home, you know, this stuff with the kitten, it makes it feel like more momentous than just, you know, going to uh, uh, pick up a kitten and, and I don't know, you know what I'm trying to say. Anyway, even if I'm not expressing it very well, I think you get the idea. Um, so as usual, I am going to put all this stuff away and then we'll end the mailbag archive. Um, so let me get to that. Wow, I have made a real mess here. Normally, I think I do a little more sorting during mailbag. Uh, all right, well, anyway, I can do it now. So uh, I think the first thing I have to do is put this food away so I don't just eat it. Wow, that peanut cluster is really looking good. All of it is.
I went ahead and took down the fence um, since I'm mobile and can respond if there is an emergency, but I, I'm hoping that there won't be any problems, even though Ari is right here poking around. Oh, I saw his Logan very interesting. He has a lot of local on the other hand, uh, River is curled up in her little shoe stand and seems completely unbothered by whatever's happening out here at the moment. So we'll keep an eye on that while I get all this stuff put up. I can see I've got some help from some little kittens that are hiding in among the boxes and checking out Loganberry. So we'll get back to that. I'm going to use some of this to organize stuff that's going downstairs. Maybe just in one big box. What do you think of River? I see you looking right at me. Oh, so you just oh, I'm about to fall asleep. Okay. Good. I like that. Calm. Calm, calm. Well, we don't need you in this box. I don't want you in any box, actually. Get down to it. That goes down to down. This does not go down to downs. This said, oh, I love to put the note in there, but I want to write on it, too. I'm just going to write endow or whatever, because that's basically what the note said, right? little rain stick thing. It's not like a rain stick at all, but you, you get what I'm saying, right? It is like a rain stick in a way. You know what I'm saying. So these are getting catnip. Wasn't there something else that was going to catnip with them? Besides the Rick and Morty, I mean. Rick? The Teddy Rick? This is going to go space theme, space theme, space theme. Space theme, space theme, space theme. Oh, wait, no, I'm not space theme. You're space theme. You two are definitely space theme. You are probably for endowments. Yeah, how bad in pineapples? Oh, such a great mailbag. So much crazy stuff this time. Right, these are going to go upstairs and so are those blankets. Let's just put together an upstairs box. That's easy. We're going upstairs. You are getting used, used, and used right away. This goes upstairs for blankets. No. Use a treat drawer.
Flo, you know, you look if there's a box to pee in. That's a pretty good choice. Why don't you use that one? Maybe not. <laughs> just, put, just put away that mug from Ice Die, however you say that name. And uh, it occurred to me that uh, I should have just, if I, if I say fancy enough, uh, Ice to Die won't be able to say her name either. And then we'll be even. Right? Pretty sure that's how that works. Thank you, buddies. Oh, man. All those sweets from buttons. I think she's going to, pretty soon, I'm also going to be able to pass as a pragmatic. pragmatic. <clears throat> yeah, all right. I didn't, quite, I didn't quite get that delivery all that it deserved, but you get the joke. some of this stuff downstairs too. even notice River got up, but she's not in her spot. She gone off to explore the house? Oh, did I see a tail on it upstairs? I'm gonna go check on that.
I don't think I have her until just now. I don't think I ever realized that the small one also has a hanging loop on the back. It's not subtle either. I don't know why I didn't see it. Maybe I didn't look at it enough. There we go. Match set. Aren't they beautiful? Wow. Almost too nice for kittens. Uh, that's not going to stop me from putting it in here for at least a little bit. They're so nice. My goodness. I know where to put them in the long run. We'll just set them down for now. I shouldn't say that. There's nothing too nice for our kids, right? I just left River walking around upstairs. Ari was keeping an eye on her, but it didn't seem like he was going to cause any trouble, or vice versa. Fingers crossed. Looked at my TV. I guess, I guess this has been filled up the bottom.
everybody. Well, that's got it for Mailbag. Uh, thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, we'll get this archive up as fast as we can. Uh, but meanwhile, you can watch the kittens on the regular Kitten Academy live stream. Which is what you're watching right now if you're watching it live. So just keep going with that. Uh, alternatively, I guess uh, we'll catch you for our next close up or live stream whenever that happens to be. Uh, yeah, next mailbag will close up live stream is what I meant to say. I gotta get these kids back in their room, I think, so I can go do other things without having to be on alert. Not that they seem like there's any real problem in here. I still don't know where River's gone to. Still upstairs, I guess. All right. Well, thanks again, everybody. I got a little cleanup to do here too. The faculty's not gonna pick this stuff up. I guess it's up to me. And the rest of the kittens. I, I wanted to show you guys the rest of the kittens before we ended the archive, but I don't know. Thanks everybody.